If he was a T-Rex, he'd be slower. Oh, the crit! The crit! Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Alive, where they have, first, the first time ever, are doing an event. And um, a lot of people have questions about the event. I, uh, I'm hopefully here to fill you in as well as progress and open incubators and all the lovely jazz. Hold on. Yes. That you guys want to see from a Jurassic World Alive episode. As well as just my general thoughts on the hybrids, for instance. I've got a lot to say about them. Because I honestly feel like a lot of the legendary hybrids are utterly garbage. <laughs> but we have a Triceratops to catch right in front of us. So I'm going to move that out of the way. Is, is this isn't in it? No, you can't see. You can't see the iPad. Oh, God. I'm going to hold the bottom or else it's going to move. So you ready for my pro skills? Here we go. So this is Triceratops. One of the most common rares I found are Triceratops. Um, Ehrlichosaurus Gen 2, I think it is. The one that's a bit like feathered like an emu. Um, Dimetrodon, God, Dimetrodon, um, and, um, Iguanodon, Iguanodon and Tentosaurus. So guys, leave in the comments, uh, saying if you guys have also bumped into a lot of these commons. I know that was awful. <laughs> uh, the, I realize, I don't know whether it's my level, but there is a max DNA you can catch from a dinosaur, which hopefully I put up. I don't know which side. I'll put, I'll put up. Um, and basically, it was 300, I think. So I don't know if that's level 10, but I managed, it was like, it cut me off. And that hasn't happened since, like, pre pre launch. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, um, yes, yes, we have all of that. But um, one thing I want to say so I'll put up a, an image or video of me doing the uh, event. Basically, there are green, or at least the, the green at the moment, um, supply drops around parks and areas like that and every day for i think the next seven days there is going to be a specific dinosaur spawn under those spots and depending on what kind of dinosaur it is like common rare epic i don't think you can get legendary um you can only catch it a certain number of times so with common you can catch it 12 times i think rares eight and epic is four and once you've done once you've caught it four times you cannot catch it again. It will stay there, and they will constantly respawn, but just to taunt you. <laughs> and even when you complete the event, I'll put up a screenshot, it just says, event ended. I was hoping you'd get, like, an extra bonus for completing it, or even, you know, you had to go run through all the dinosaurs, so you had to catch the common ones first, then the rares, and then to get the epics. Uh, and you only had 24 hours to do this, which I thought would be a good idea, but they didn't decide to do that. But anyway, let's get on to the My Dinosaur Team, which has swapped around again. I opened up my iPhone and they put it in order of the strongest. So Indominus was all the way to the left. But um, yes, because um, a lot of you guys have said what uh, hybrids you're working towards or what dinosaurs you have. And it got me thinking. I can almost start on some of the hybrids. Um, so if we go on Gorgosuchus, which you can see right here, uh, it has a hybrid. Its hybrid is Megalosuchus. Now, Megalosuchus is slower than Gorgosuchus, and the one redeeming factor about it is it gets uh, counterattack. And to be honest, that's about it. If, if it didn't get counterattack, there is literally no point in getting this dinosaur. If Gorgosuchus and this Megalosuchus were to fight each other one on one, Gorgosuchus would win. Because Gorgosuchus would go first, use Ferocious Strike, and then it would do the counterattack, it would do pinning attack, because I don't think it can go for anything else. So Gorgosuchus is left with like that much health, and then Gorgosuchus goes for like its Mega Bite, which I think is Rampage. Does it have Rampage? Is it called? Yeah, it's Rampage. So it would go for two times damage with the 50% extra attack, and it would kill it. So as far as I'm concerned, at the moment, yes, Megalosuchus has counterattack, and yes, it probably has more health, but Gorg it's not worth it. Gorgosuchus is, I'd rather have a, like a higher level of Gorgosuchus. And the same applies for most of the hybrids, if I've got to admit. So I was thinking about Stegoceratops. Um, it's, it's hybrid is a Monostegotops, which means you need to um, put a monos, Monolophosaurus into it. But it's slower than stegos, uh, Stegoceratops, meaning that Stegoceratops can go for the slowing impact. Maybe this Monostegotops can go for Distracting Strike, which means it lowers its attack by 50%. But then Stegoceratops can go for Great Stun, which has a 70% chance of attacking, uh, landing a stun. Then uh, Stunning Strike, which has a 30% chance. 
And to be honest, if they're the same level, they're equal. If, if anything, Stegoceratops, because it's quicker, means that it's going to do more damage and have more health and be able to take on the next dinosaur. So, again, another hybrid that isn't worth it. The only legendary hybrid that I, th or hybrids at the moment that I think are worth it is Indominus Rex, because you have that cloak, which means you can basically kill any dinosaur in the game for free if you're lucky. Um, do not change that, Lydia. It's... <laughs> It's all luck, okay. Uh, the only other hybrids I always think are, work, are worth it, I'll run through them. Not worth it. Allosinosaurus, not worth it because it's slow. It does have instant charge, which is a plus, but against a Utah Raptor or a, Pry a Pyroraptor, it's killed in three hits. You go for Pounce, and then you can go for uh, Strike, and it's, it's done for. Um, the ones I will say are worth it, I would say Angtrosaurus is worth it just to get um, the Trichosaurus. But I don't even know if Trichosaurus is any good. Uh, the ones that stand out to me wholeheartedly is this guy because you have instant invincibility with the counterattack, meaning that you're going to get a free hit off no matter what. Um, and I think you can do um, something else. I can't remember what it is. Like shield. So that's just really good. Uh, and the one that I'm really wanting to work towards, which is this guy, the Spina to Sutures, because it is quicker than Pyroraptor, and it has some amazing attacks. So if you want any hybrid, you want my opinion on what hybrid to work towards, it's 100% Spina to Sutures. Um, uh, like this one, this is another Utah Raptor one, uh, Ut Utah Sin Raptor. Again, killed by Utah Raptor, killed by Pyroraptor in two goes. This dinosaur only gets one shot, and that's it. It's dead. So, if I've got to be honest, not worth it. Um, I really wish it was. I really wish that these dinosaurs were better. Um, but at the moment, like technically if speaking, they're not quicker. But they have better attacks and better stats. Which is good, but I usually use raptors. Um, or I found raptors worked a lot better for me. And saying that, being a legendary doesn't mean necessarily it's a better dinosaur. Take Tani Culligrius, for instance. This is a common, yet it is 130 speed. And at level, like, the, if you level this thing up to the level 20s, you're looking at some, like, going first and doing some amazing damage. Because look at this. It is level 10 and it has 688 attack. So, common, I know that the, you think legendaries are, like, really good. But if you level up a common like this, Tani Culligrius up to, or Tani Colosaurus up to level 20, yeah, it's going to kick your ass. It's going to kick all the opponent's asses. <laughs> um, so one thing I'm going to do, because we do have four chances, four chances to level up Indominus Rex to level 18, we're going to go for it. We have four chances to get 90 DNA. We have four chances to get 50 DNA. We also have four chances to get 10 DNA. So we'll give it a shot, see what we get, and... Well, would you believe? <laughs> of course it's going to be that. So also, um, I mean, I've thought long and hard about um, which legendaries to level up because coins take a long, and I mean a long time to get, as well as legendary DNA. It's not cheap, and it's hard to come by. Oh, well, there you go. There's a 30. Hopefully we can get a 90, eh? If we get a 90, we're going to do it. If we get a 50, we're going to be 10 off. 90! Damn it! <laughs> But we're getting closer. Uh, so I will admit the one dinosaur... Uh, so we'll level up some of the dinosaurs that I managed to come across. So Kentrosaurus I managed to come across not too long ago. Um, I came across this morning another Oranosaurus. And I was like, what, really? <laughs> so I have like over a thousand extra DNA of Oranosaurus. And it's level 15 already. So I'm going to keep it there. It would be great to level it up. But at the moment, I'm not going to risk it. Came, came Yesterday I came across... Ehrlichosaurus and Postmetrodon right next to each other. Uh, hopefully, maybe I'll put up a picture. I don't know if I took a screenshot of it, but I was like, I can't believe that. <laughs> so I had to like quickly go around and get those uh, guys. So again, never once fused Dimetrodon or Postsuchus. And here I am with the level 14. So uh, just because you don't have the, you know, the dinosaurs lower, doesn't mean that you're not going to get them. You know, the uh, requirements, the building blocks for the hybrid. So there's level 13 Ehrlichosaurus. And there is an event going on at the moment where you can buy, if you really want to, a legendary cr uh, incubator to get it. And finally, level 15 Megalosaurus. Good God. Which means that I can now start working towards that uh, Mega mega Ceratops. Which I've got to admit, don't want to do. Because it's not as good as, um, what do you call it? It's not as good as Stegoceratops. That's the one. 
Um, any other dinosaurs that I really wanted to level up? Yes. We are going to start working towards that uh, alligator one or whatever. The Capro Raptor, that one. <laughs> so, in order to do that, we need a level 15 Capra Sutures. Uh, Capra Sutures being one of the uh, rares that is incredibly hard to come by. But... Be, uh, because that is probably one of the best hybrids, that along with Indominus Rex, I'm going to... This all could be put in to Gorgosuchus and the Megalosuchus hybrid. But, like I've said, Megalosuchus isn't as good as Gorgosuchus. And I, when it, I'd rather have dinosaurs that are quicker so I could get the first hit in. Uh, so there we go. Are we going to get... Yeah, we're level 13. We've got to get two more levels before we can start working towards that. But, 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 um, we need to start uh, getting Spinotaur Raptor up to level 15. So we need to do this for quite some time. Uh, also, there's uh, somebody told me that the green um, event stops that are in parks and stuff at the moment... Um, do not have a limit or a max amount that they can give you of coin. So you can't max out. You could, you could beat around them all day and get coin. Um, I haven't tested this out, so I don't believe it. Um, because when I went to Edinburgh not too long ago, it was two and a half hours up, two and a half hours down. Um, and I was playing Jurassic Alive the whole time. Because uh, <laughs> charging my phone in the car. And I finally managed to max out coin. Um, and I must have got 10,000 coin. So, unless somebody else has played it for five hours straight, um, I don't know if that's true. I would have to do it myself before I can say to you guys um, that that is the case because I don't want to give you false information. I don't want to say, oh, yeah, constantly do that and then somebody be, to be, you know, you know what, that's what I'm going to do today. And five hours into it, they're like, wait, I can't. What a waste. But anyway, depending on how you see it, five hours just doing that is a waste of time. <laughs> oh, 70, yes. Oh, that's great. Uh, the one that I'm finding hard to come by with this hybrid in particular is Spinosaurus. Um, uh, Utah Raptor as well. These are both quite hard to come by rares. It's interesting that Ludia have decided to give you useless rares as ones you bump into uh, quite commonly. So... Triceratops isn't useless because you have Stegoceratops, but stuff like Edmontosaurus, um, Ehrlichosaurus Gen 2, are rares that have no hybrids. So, and, and you come across those all the time. Coolasuchus as well. Coolasuchus Gen 2. I come across that all the time. Complete waste of time. <laughs> um, trying to think of any other. Oranosaurus is an epic that I come across the most often. And. Like it has no hybrids, so it could be said as a waste of time. Uh, we are also gonna uh, check the incubators because I have a little, a little surprise in there for you, um, as well as the battle arenas. Um, so it is a great time to be a Jurassic Park fan. We can't, I can't pretend otherwise. Um, how, ooh, ooh, yes, we got ten more to go. Ten more Spinosaurus to, to fuse, and twenty more Utahraptors to fuse. So we're probably gonna get this up to level four. We're gonna get it to level fourteen minimum. We may get it to level fifteen, um, and getting up to level fifteen may make it usable in my team. Uh, which would be interesting. I kind of also want to just try and get Tiny Calagrius up to level 20. But it costs a lot of coin. You're seeing, like, I was on 127,000 at the start of this video. I'm now on 86. So, coin can disappear. Oh, there you go. 40. Uh, but I think it's going to take 300 for the next one. Uh, 6,000 for this. So, there you go. Uh, Uta a Spinotar Raptor. Um, it is really quick. 123 means it's pretty darn quick. It does have fairly decent attack, but what makes Spinotar Raptor pretty good anyway is not only its speed, but its attacks. Uh, you have that critical impact chance, and straight away you can go for a distracting impact, reducing your opponent's attack for fit by the oh hello 50%. Sorry, I'm setting something up there. You can reduce their attack 50% uh, for two turns, and you can do that right off the bat. If you're quicker, you're pretty you're pretty good. Uh, so we can do this uh, five more times. Oh, there you go. There's a 50. Um, so, yeah. I mean, let me know if you think there's any other hybrids that I've missed out. Or maybe I've got a wrong interpretation of a hybrid. Maybe uh, maybe that Megalosuchus, uh, or Megalogorgosuchus, whatever it is, is actually pretty decent. Um, I mean, I'm 100% open to your ideas. But if I've got to admit, every time I've faced one in the battles, it's never been too much of a threat. Uh, of course, I'm saying this now, Ludia might change it. They might be like, oh, really? Beaver thinks they're crap. Well, let's make them stronger. And making Gorgosuchus worse and then giving us more incentive to get Megalosaurus or Megalosuchus, which would be good. But at the same time, not good. Because then 
Um, I've wasted all my Capra sutures. Well, and it's not wasted. If you're working towards a legendary, you never waste some DNA. So, here we go! Saw the marshes. I did it. Apparently, the battles are getting a lot easier. So, should we check who's in our ranks? Um, let's have a quick look. Ooh, is that Triceratops? Have they moved down? I think that was actually in the top one, because I know Triceratops is a legit guy. I think, anyway. Uh, most of these guys are legit anyway. Anybody I recognize? No, not really. But, for instance, let's have a look at what legit players have in their teams. Uh, so, here we go. Level 16 Aranosaurus. This is all believable. That level 19 Stegoceratops, I can believe. Because I have, like, 3,000 Triceratops. Um, so I can 100% believe that. The Tani Calagrius, that's interesting that's in their team. Because it is a really fast dinosaur. Uh, Dr. Megalodon, Velociraptor again is a good dinosaur. Uh, what I find interesting is you put T-Rex and Velociraptor, the fastest creature and the slowest creature, fuse them together, Indominus Rex is the second slowest creature. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's pretty slow. Um, so, uh, dead kids. Oh, another raptor there. Um, ooh, they, there's Gorgosuchus. A lot of people finding, um... What's it called? Uh, Ehrlichosaurus, the legendary there. Victoria has a 16 Indominus Rex. I can believe that. A 21 Euposaptus. A 19 uh, Tani Calagrius. Because it is a really good dinosaur. Um, here we go. Ooh, ooh, this is interesting, team. 18s for everything. Wow, a level 21 T-Rex. And then level 13. Don't believe this. I don't believe that someone had enough DNA to level up Utahraptor to level 20. And also get its hybrid. Don't believe that at all. That is a, oh, that's a fake account. Uh, <laughs> don't care what you say. Uh, level 11, this could be legit, 100%, I believe that. So, this is giving you a taste of what other people have. Uh, this, ooh, this person's worked really hard, level 11, so they've probably been playing it as long as I have. Um, but they've got an Ankylosaur Gen 2 in there. Uh, again, I believe that because there is so many of them out there. Uh, you can quite easily tell if somebody's just hacked their account. That's legit. And, ooh, they've got different legendary there, that's cool. Um, this one is not legit because he's level 16, which is bloody ridiculous. <laughs> uh, the, if, I mean, the level 18 or the level 20 friggin' Indominus. God, no, that's definitely not legit. But anyway, let's have a look. Let's open up. Oh, we have to, we have to watch an advert before we want to open this. We'll be right back. Oh, go away, Fortnite, man. <laughs> anyway, here you go. So, uh, if I could have any... A Spinoraptor, uh, sorry, Spinoraptor would be amazing. Um, a Spinosaurus would be what I'm looking for here. Uh, Spinosaurus or Caprisuchus. There we go, we got a target in mind. So the so the event creature, sorry, I didn't mention, but you probably saw it there. Uh, I think it's there, either way. Uh, it was uh, Triceratops Gen 2, which I've already got a crud ton of anyway. Uh, Dilophosaurus Gen 2, kind of a waste. Oh, we, oh, we got legendary DNA, okay. Um, damn. Didn't need any of those. Uh, Woohoo saw is definitely not. Uh, well, 10 T Rexes, why not? I'll take it. And let's go for the legendary. If I could have any legendary, I would have. And we don't have a legendary. Uh, sorry, if I could have any epic. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting because legendary is gold in Jurassic World the game. I'm so sorry. People are saying they get so confused when I'm talking. And honestly, I watch my videos back sometimes. I'm like, why did I say that? I was, I, that uh, Jurassic fan game with the T Rex breakout, I said, oh, I wish you could go inside the house. I meant the the toilet. Ah! <laughs> anyway, if we're gonna have any epic, I would have T Rex or Pyroraptor. T Rex or I'm really trying to think of another epic that I'd really like. Um, Mono? No, I I don't need that hybrid. Well, I don't know. Let's find out. Let's see what we get. I'd be happy with mostly anything, really. Iguanodon. Uh, well, I don't really find the, very many of those. They're in grassy areas. A Margasaur is a good one. I'll take that. Um, damn it, don't need Corgasuchus. On to the epics. What are we gonna get? First one is 185 Monolophosaurus. So that would we could, if we wanted to, start working towards um the uh, what do you call it? The uh, mono stegotops. Which I guess we can do because we already have enough DNA of it. Uh, oh, finally, <laughs> a new creature, Spinosaurus Gen 2. Will be interesting to see if that actually has a hybrid. Uh, so let's unlock it, why not? So create the second Spinosaurus. Yes. Uh, 1,804, fire is 73. It has decent speed, pretty good. Um, not as quick as Spinosaurus though. And does it, it doesn't have a hybrid. And it has exploit wound, wounding strike, and strike. So I think it has one more, uh, one more attack than Spinosaurus. Let's have a look. Because Spinosaurus has strike, uh, wounding strike, and exposed weak spot. Are they the same? I think he had the other one, didn't he? Not exposed weak pock, 
a weak weak pock expose weak spot i think it was exploit i think let's have a look it's level 11 is it exploit yeah meaning that it's it's a, it's a little bit better not much if in the grand scheme of things it's not really that much better um Nodosaurus, so if we wanted to shout should we monolophosaurus? Let's let's give it a couple attempts, right? We may as well. 8,000, there you go. Level 15. Um I'm not gonna work towards uh the hybrid of mono stegoceratops, I think it's called. Yeah, mo mono stegotops. I'm not really gonna do this, if I gotta be honest. So we do it two times. There's 20. So we can make our way towards it, but honestly. <laughs> Not bothered. <laughs> I, I would rather put up, um, and there they go. 30 out of 200. Bit of an ask. The thing is, before this was released worldwide, to get the legendaries, it was only 100. So we would be almost halfway there. But since then, they've upped uh, the asking price up to double, and even in the uniques to 250. Um, so do we... Yeah, we got so, we got so much to stick us out. So, um, you know what? I may as well. Oh, it cost 10,000. You know what? Level 16, I, I don't care. I'm, I, like, it makes it a little bit better, and I use it all the time. So I'd rather it was a little bit stronger. Uh, is it only 100? And it's, look, 5,000 Triceratops and 30,000 Stegosaurs. Like, when I was going up to Edinburgh in the car, and I was just, like, catching loads of dinosaurs, I, it was just Stegosaur after Stegosaur after Stegosaur. Um, I think I did come across, like, a Pyroraptor, maybe two Pyroraptors. Um, but Epics are so hard to come by. And not only that, but Ludia, thank you so much. Thank you. You have put back um, a lot of the um, stops that had disappeared. So, um, a lot of the supply drops in areas vanished, uh, especially in the rural areas. But I've noticed on the main roads, they haven't put the stops back, but on rural areas, they've put them back, uh, which is great. I think they've taken, uh, either they listened to what I said, which is very uh, up my own ass, which I'm, I'm not trying to be, but uh, they've listened to feedback because um, I'm sure you guys and myself said that they're not really helping people in rural areas. They were to start with and then they removed all the supply drops, but now they are, so that's good. So we're just gonna get this guy up to level 17. Um, up to, I think if it costs 20,000 coin, I'm not gonna do it because I'd rather save that for something else. But I don't know, level, level, if I could have a level 20 Stegoceratops, I'd do it. Screw um, uh, Mega Ceratops, I don't care about the legendary hair, but this guy's where it's at. Um, just because he's quicker. I wish you could see his speed. I mean, if we face them, so many of you guys in the last video were like, Beaver, if you tap the dinosaur, you could see its stats. <laughs> I didn't know that, I just forgot. Okay, so you didn't know it, no. <laughs> so how much is it? 15,000. You know what? I may as well. I'm gonna do it. Level 17. Another 122. There you go. So that may make the difference in the battles that we are going to do now. Uh, oh god, not that. Um, so, is there any new dinosaurs that I want in the team? Gorgosuchus, I'm not really wanting to go for the hybrid. Uh, but leveling it up would be good. Uh, let's have a look. It costs 10,000 to do it. Um, we can't really get any more DNA once we've done this. Because, we I mean, Caprasuchus is now going towards a level 15 Caprasuchus. And I never come across Caprasuchus. So, Ludia, if you're watching, Caprasuchus, please. <laughs> Just, you know, increase the slider so they're more frequent. But anyway, we'll do the battles. Um, we're level 73, so let's go. Let's go. We got a newly upgraded Stegoceratops. Um, oh, cancel, cancel. Oops, I didn't put Spinotoraptor in. I didn't put Spinotoraptor in. Uh, so we'll modify the teams. I think Spinotoraptor should be... Uh, who should we switch out? Um, hmm. Oranosaur... Uh, I feel like T-Rex, actually. I feel like I want to switch out T-Rex just because it's really slow. I'm so sorry. There we go. So we got... It, it's a mixed bag. If I did have the coins, I'd probably level up like Tani Calagrius or Velociraptor to be in there. Like a level 20 Raptor, I got whitewashed by it. I got completely sweeped by... Why did I say whitewashed? <laughs> I got completely sweeped by a Velociraptor. I think it was level 23. It just went for a pounce, did 2,400 damage. What can I do? <laughs> so if you get a Raptor of that higher level, unless you also have level 20 dinosaurs, you don't really stand much of a chance. So here we are, the Sword of Ashes, which the graphics look really nice in, actually. I'm not, not too, not overly uh, excited about it. I never really like sunset settings. 
Um, like, oh, oh, wait, we don't. Oh, ooh, let's start with our newly upgraded Stegoceratops. I really want. Oh, oh what level is this one? Le oh. Wow, it really doesn't stand much of a chance, does it? It's dead like two hits. Uh, he's going to reduce our speed. Um, wow. He's dead. We killed in two hits. Oh, this is interesting. I'm so sorry. This looks like it might be a legit player as well. Oh! Oh, I'm not... Oh, did he stun me? Oh, no! <laughs> Never mind. If he gets a 30% here... Ooh. So, it... I, I could have went for the greatest stun there, but I wanted to save it. But good news is, our speed uh, debuff is gone. So, it depends what he puts in here. I don't think we're gonna... Oh, Utah Raptor. Now, I would assume he's gonna have to go for a pounce. Oh, that was really bad. That was a bad play. I would have went for a pounce just to make sure. And you can check anyway. So, uh, should we just go for a strike? I, oh, oh, switch to a Rhinosaurus. Damn, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna die. Unless we get a stun. Yeah, I'm gonna, well, I could switch out actually. How about our level 15 Rhinosaurus? Which if I wanted to, I probably could put it up to level 17. Uh, so he's probably gonna go for great stun now. Oh, oh yeah, we're quicker. I completely forgot. <laughs> oh, I feel kind of bad now. Oh, and he didn't even get it. Oh no, that sucks. So I'm going to go for the impact and run. And hopefully we won't get Stegoceratops. Let's see who we get. Not Stegoceratops. Not Stegoceratops. Please don't. Okay, I'm happy with that. <laughs> Utah Raptor. Um, wow, we're going to win 3-0, I think, here. Kenrosaurus does have instant cripple, so it might go for it. Uh, Kenrosaurus. Did I say Kenrosaurus? I meant Kenrosaurus, yeah. So there's the instant cripple. But good news is, he's probably going to go for Thagomizer. Um on his go, but it's gonna be reduced. But if he does go for Thagomizer, it means that we're probably gonna die in the next turn. So, oh, there you go, 3-0. I haven't done that in ages, but to be honest, they were pretty easy. So there's no glory in that victory. <laughs> 216 coin, get that free incubator. Oh yeah, let's put you in. So we're at level 65. Hopefully I'm wanting to get in the level 50 ranks. And once we get in level 50 ranks, we can see who's top. And also just check out what the uh, the cheetahs have. <laughs> also, what I've noticed is that um, if we face up against a really hard team, we get Indominus Rex. I get to choose Indominus Rex. So, oh, okay. You know what? Let's choose Spinatar Raptor. Yeah, let's go for it and see what we think. Oh, is this the same guy? It's the same logo. <laughs> is it? It is the same guy. <laughs> what? Okay, he's going to do reduced speed. So I'm going to take his attack down by 50%. Um, we do a lot of damage there, though. So decreased attack, so slowing impact. He's going to get an extra hit off, but only does 470. Um, what should we go for here? Like, how, how much does strike do? Doesn't kill him. Critical impact will may kill him. And wounding strike um, does half extra. Wounding strike will kill him. We'll go. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, oh, he gets a stun. And then if he goes for stunning strike, he may kill us. Stunning impact, that's the one. He may kill us here. Oh, there you go. That's that's good, though. That shows how good Stegoceratops really is. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I know I'm quicker. So this is why Gorgosuchus is better, in my opinion. If this was Megalosuchus, I would have been hit again there. But Gorgosuchus gets to go first because it's quicker. Um, I get to do my ferocious strike. Um, really, Ludia, please don't change this. I feel like with Jurassic World, the game, if there was a good dinosaur, they were like, yeah, we're not having that. <laughs> oh, you see, you can never account for this, though. Um, a level 16 Raptor, he's killed me in one hit. He's killed me in one hit. Oh, see, just like that, I didn't ex anticipate the Raptor. I didn't anticipate the Raptor. So things are looking bleak, right? Um, that's because they kind of are. <laughs> Because he's going to go for a strike and do like a thousand damage. Ooh. So we've killed him. It's up to Pyroraptor. Now, I'm unless I can kill whatever comes in in one hit, we're not going to win. Unless I, I, I'd have to switch to Oranosaurus. Um, so, oh, we are quicker. Uh, we have one. That was lucky. Pyroraptor's one speed quicker than a Utah Raptor. So that was really lucky. Sorry for beating that guy again. <laughs> what were the chances? Uh, I think I, I think it was the same guy anyway. Oh, yes. 
Okay, so we are 48. Shall we have a look at who's it? Number one, because it was that anthracite dude, I think, or whatever. Um, but he's long gone. Um, so now it is Obito Uchiha, who has a level 23 Indominus and Ehrlichosaurus hybrid. <laughs> Please have a round of applause. It must have taken you ages to open, sit there and open incubators over and over and over. <laughs> But in their team, for some odd reason, is the useless uh, Utah Raptor Sin Raptor hybrid, uh, the amazing uh, Spino Spinosaurus um, Caprasuchus hybrid, and an Indominus Rex. I don't know about that one. Ziv, another one, another round of applause for someone who just hacks the game. There you go, another one. How about Mr. Felden? Yeah, we're getting all of them. Yes, congratulations, guys. <laughs> it must take so much. Now, apparently, Triceratops is a legit player. The more I look at it, the more I don't believe it. Because, I mean, who has enough spare, like, spare time to play this? If you're a kid, you're at school, so you shouldn't be playing it. And if you're an adult, unless you live next to, like, five stops, which have sport... Like, cause the, I mean, they are playing it legit. Like, they only have level 15 uh, Sinceratops, level 15 um, T-Rex. And that's why they said they got the, the Utah Raptor and the Allosaurus really quick. Um, uh, the T-Rex, uh, sorry, the Indominus Rex comes as a byproduct, because if you've got to those, you're probably going to get raptors. But then, the level 19 Kentrosaur and Kylosaur hybrid, or whatever it is, I don't believe it, I'm sorry, guy. He is level 11, but, I mean, unless you played a lot, uh, that's quite a legit team. But, let's keep going and see if we can actually use Indominus Rex for once. I mean, honestly, guys, I'm just being skeptical, and I'm not saying that if you've got better dinosaurs than me, then you're a cheat and a hacker, because there will be people who will play it more than me. Oh, uh, now we're against a hard person, because we have Indominus Rex. Right, okay, what is it? It's Allosaurus. Ooh, level 25. Who has a level 25 Allosaurus? Why? I mean, oh, that was a crit. That would have killed me. That would have killed me. Now... Even with the amazing attack and the 50% boost, I'm not going to kill him in one hit. Look at that! <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. I, can't, I mean, that's crazy. Why would you have a level 25? That must cost like 50,000 coin, if that. Maybe even 100,000. So already, whoever this person is, is a bit of a cheater. But we're gonna, I'm gonna use this to my advantage and let's see if we can win. So I'm gonna go for the Ferocious Strike, meaning that, you know, at least if I'm quicker than whatever comes in, I can do a fair bit of damage to it. That Allosaurus, man, that's insane. So, ooh, I think Bionics is quicker. Look, hopefully, fingers crossed, he goes for Ready to Crush. Oh, I got a crit, are you serious? If he didn't get the crit, he wouldn't have killed me. Oh, god damn it. Oh, that's unlucky. That is unlucky. We could have done like 2,500 damage to him, and then he'd be dead here. And then it would be onto the, fi the final. But, I mean, he got the crit, he got lucky. That's the way the game goes. It's just unfortunate. Now, if I get a crit here, I've got a crit chance. I, I can kill him if I do get the crit chance. There you go! Okay, okay, we'll, we'll play that game, we'll play that game. I mean, I've lost anyway, because... Ugh, Parasaurus at level 24. Who has a level 24 Parasaur? Why would you do that? And he's quicker, so there you go. I'm sorry, if a common with a regular strike can do 1,000 attack... R-O-B eat blood. I mean, he's gonna be in the top, and I'm not gonna be able to see him. We'll have a quick look here. R.O.B. Blood, I think it was, wasn't it? But yeah, he's not in those ones. We'll do another one. If anything, he'll be in the top uh, with that team. So I'll have a double check. Um, but I don't know. Like, that's the thing. Sometimes I think the bots, like uh, the... You don't fight real people. They're bots. And I feel like sometimes they take a real person's profile picture and name. And then they just assign them random stuff. Because no one in their right mind, if they hack, would have a parasol. They would have crazy dinosaurs. Okay, so we got another chance to... Is it the same guy again? It looks like it's the same guy again. <laughs> is it level 11 Stegoceratops? Level 11 Apatosaur? Oh, God, no. Okay, it's, um... 
It's a level 23 Apalosaur with 5,000 health. Almost as much health as an Allosaurus, would you believe? So we can't kill this in two hits. We have to go for three, um, including this one. So I think the Apalosaur's only good move is decelerating impact, which does... Oh, we dodged it. Oh my god. Okay, maybe we're in with a chance here. We can definitely survive two hits. So I'll go for exposed weak spot. Um, and then we'll, I'll go for... Um, I mean, I'll have a look. I'll have a look how much damage I can do with this. And then we do an extra half because it's exploited, right? Or is it? You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for that one. Make sure we kill out a Padasaurus. And then we have Cloak ready for the next dinosaur. We could do this, guys. We could do this. Oh, Margasaur, level 24! Hide! <laughs> Quickly! <laughs> no! Okay, decelerating impact. That might kill me. Oh, we dodged it! We just gotta dodge one more attack. We just gotta dodge. Oh, we gotta go first? Ooh! If it was a T Rex, he'd be slower. Oh, the crit! The crit! 5,000 damage! What was that? That was awesome! Oh, Sp Spider Raptor's quicker for sure. Yeah, we're definitely dead here. Um, I will not expect. Oh, yeah, critical. Right, he's gonna kill me. How much damage? <gasps> Indominus! What are you doing? <laughs> What is going on? Indominus Rex, level 20s to like 25. What on earth? Oh, that was luck though. We didn't get hit a single. Oh, we. I also realized we don't have uh, any Utah Raptors. I could have easily killed him with Utah Raptor there. Oh, if he goes for distracting. Oh, at least he's level 17 now, not level 15. So we go for that. Oh, right. I'm expecting the switch. I'm expecting the switch. Usually, almost 100% of the chance, oh, 100% of the time, sorry, uh, they'll switch here. Yeah, there we go. So, Stiggy Moloch, that's fine. We can definitely survive one hit from him because he has to go for the minimal first. Stunned, great. Now, this is the interesting thing. If they're already stunned and you attack them uh, with a stunning chance, it ne they never get stunned. So, he's going to go first, wear off his stun, and then it's my go. If I went first, it wouldn't stun him. But there's a chance there that I could have got him. Uh, so I'm going to go for a regular hit here. Ooh, he has to go for... He, actually, he could go for more now because he was stunned. So we got 800 attack, right? Yep. Oh, he's probably going to kill me with a swap, I'm going to think. Dude, we, we just won. We won against level 20s. Pretty proud of myself. <laughs> Last notes. Okay, since we're back up, let's see if we can find that ROB Slayer or whatever it was called. So we're in rank 49, the top 50. Um, is he in here or was it completely made up? Hold on, you're telling me somebody with level 20 odd um, Parasaurolophus, 20 odd Allosaurus or whatever, isn't in here? Um, yeah, so I'm gonna say that as well as fighting real people's teams, sometimes you fight up made up teams. Um, because he wasn't in, uh, the 1 to 100 battle range. He should, like, this guy was originally number one, and they've even got, like, the new hybrids, and for some odd reason, have decided to put Ehrlichosaurus Gen 2 in there? <laughs> this just shows, like, sometimes the best dinosaurs, or, like, the, the hardest ones to get aren't the best ones, and I quite like how the game is sometimes balanced like that. But, uh, yeah, that's interesting, he's not even there. I'm not even, he wasn't in the the rank below either. Yeah, so they, they weren't in it at all. So they, there you go, that's cool. So we're just going to open up this um, right away just because I want to see uh, what kind of epic we get. I'll take that, I need that. And finally, 13 uh, Rajasaurus is interesting. But anyway, guys, enjoy that video. Of course, if you've got any comments, um, like let's say you think that uh, this hybrid's better or you think that you do fight real people, do leave in the comments because, I mean, why I say isn't gospel and it's not fact. I'm very influenced by, you know, m m what I see, but also what you guys tell me as well. So if you enjoyed it, leave a like and see you later. Bye.